Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. In this lesson, we are going to learn at the interest that stakeholders have in these annual accounts that we've recently discussed, which include your statement of property loss or your statement of financial position. Now, we know that there are different mm -hmm. stakeholders that a business has and everyone has their own reasons for looking at the same business. And of course, what they wanna look at is the performance financially or otherwise you also whatever business you are in you're a stakeholder to you'd like to see how they're doing or not and of course when you want to see financially it's these annual accounts that we have at our hands to determine how well a company is doing now the most important stakeholder of course when it comes to the financial information are your shareholders and of course, as Mr. Elon Musk here will testify that making a company is not easy and running one again, making it larger and larger will require more capital. And the way to do that is looking, making sure that your financial accounts look nice and healthy. So what do you do as a shareholder when you're looking at these accounts? What you're, what you're looking for is any information that is keeping you up to date about the company's performance. Are your revenues going up? Is the profit going up? Is the cost going up? What's, what's really happening financially in the company? And of course, the better your accounts are going to be, the more attractive they become for any potential investor. So it's hard work, but it pays off when you have new investors bringing in new money because they trust the information that's given in these annual accounts. Another, st said another stakeholder that might be interested are your customers. Now, of course, customers don't go in too much detail, of course, of the SOP and SOPL because not every customer will have the understanding of those uh, of that information, and not everyone really cares about that. What they really care about is is the price of the product that their company is selling affordable to them. So, but but nonetheless, some customers would want to get some assurances about how the company is going forward. Forward. And those will come through these uh, annual accounts because they want to make sure that they have a long-term relationship. And if a company is doing well, they're progressing, their, their performances are improving, that will, that will indicate that they'll be there to stay for the long term. And of course, all customers like when new things are presented to them in the form of new products, new color, new shape, new size, whatever. So all of that will come through the research that the company is able to conduct. And the amount of money or the direction they're taking with the research is also contained within the annual account. So information on any research gives you confidence to buy or continue to buy from a business because they are showing progression. They are trying to do better for the customers. So just by looking at these annual accounts for the customer and shareholders at least, this information will be readily available. Now, another stakeholder that is very much interested in looking at the financial position is the supplier. And of course, the supplier are the bringers of your raw material. You need raw materials to produce your own goods. And of course, in return for those supplies, you need to pay them. And that payment comes out of the cash that the company is able to hold. The more cash you have, the more liquidity you have, the less cash you have, the more illiquid you become. And of course, any supplier would want a liquid business, meaning having more cash to spend than a business that has less cash, uh, less cash also illiquid. So by looking at the statement of financial positions, especially from the annual accounts, a supplier can determine the liquidity position of a business and then it gives them the confidence that they're going to be paid or not looking at the cash position. Of course, whenever a business is trying to present a uh, new research that also comes through the annual account and a new product is being launched and, and the more products you launch, that means the more raw materials you need. And that's something that is music to the ears of the supplier. So information on new products means more supplies are going to be ordered and, and that's good news for the suppliers. Internally, when we look at a stakeholder, it's the employees who will have an interest in what the financial position is. Why? Because the higher the profitability of a business is, the higher the chances that they're going to get more salaries, more bonuses. So it, it helps to gauge the company's ability to pay higher salaries and bonuses. And of course, what a business is trying to achieve from, from all its business activity is, determined, is, is indicated through the business's overall objective. What we've learned as the corporate objective previously. And that corporate objective is easily transmitted or easily explained through the annual account. So, so any company, any employee who's, who's unsure of which direction the company is headed and what's my role in that direction, 
that can come through just by going through the annual account. So information objectives and future strategic decision are also presented in these accounts. So as you can see, multiple stakeholders have multiple reasons for looking at the same set of documents. Th that's that's the uh, that's the dynamism of the annual accounts. They are so useful for so many stakeholders, and, and all businesses will make sure that they are presenting the best form of themselves through these accounts.